Challenge. <lacht> Stupid reaction genius. I'm Corbin. <laughs> I'm Rick. I don't know what that was. What was that? I'm gonna die apparently here. <laughs> uh, well, please follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter for all juicy content. It's so And they were so some Patreon and follow official Twitter account. It's like when we had the. Maybe Remind I should you? drink water instead of coffee. Yeah, maybe you need to be hydrated. I don't know what that is. There's some water in there. Right? Stop drinking. There's water. water. There's water That's in there. That's bong. That is over right. there. Uh, but today we react into a video. Uh, it's it's. I think a, I don't know what you would classify it as, a art, I mean, not like a dance or anything like that, but it's like an art form activity, like, like a trapeze, not trapeze, not trapeze, like, not trapeze. The, like in Mumbai when they do the climbing thing, it's actually a celebration, but it's also considered I a don't sport. Know. I think art. something like that, but uh, we'll see. You sure you're not still dizzy? It might be. Uh, it's called this. It's called Malakam. It's an acrobatic. That's what it is. Right? It's an acrobatic thing. It's an acrobatic. In Pune, India. Yes. Uh, but uh, here we go. Okay. You ready to learn about it? Yeah, absolutely. Something new about Indian culture? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the incredible display of athleticism you just lost oh is a traditional Indian sport called Malaga. I think I've seen Even though it's nearly a thousand years old, it was oh, wow. 2013 that it was declared an official state sport of India. I Today, I'm going to live. We explore the acrobatic world of Malaga and learn why this amazing sport is an essential part of Indian culture. I think Cirque du Soleil has incorporated this into one of their. Uh, Definitely. Yeah, I've seen it. So if it's a white Malakam matchup, is it's about it, I'm a part sorry. of Indian culture. It's known as the traditional Indian sport. And it is that unique sport which gives maximum exercise to the body in minimum possible time. And that's the fun of it. Wow. Wow. Don't hurt yourself. The bruising as they learn to do this. Malakam is a very unique kind of sport. See, in this sport, you work against the gravity. You pull yourself up. When you're holding the rope, wow. come in your toe. You know, it's the kind of pressure. We don't use it anywhere. So each and every muscle gets used. Oh, oh Malakam. She grabbed it with her toe. All the muscles in the body. So I'm not saying this muscles involve this. This muscles involve this. From top to toe, all the muscles involved in Malakam. If you are going to a gym, you require a different equipment for your shoulders, a different equipment for your thigh. But here on Malkam, one piece of wood or one what? single cotton rope and you can practice on it all the time and enjoy. The world of Malakam is very diverse, with several variations and styles existing within the sport. Like bottle Malakam, which involves placing the pole on top of two layers of glass bottles before actually performing. <laughs> <laughs> which involves players working together and contorting their bodies to create impressive symmetrical designs around the pole. But when it comes to the sport on a competitive level, however, there are only three foundational forms. Basically, there are three types of malakam which are included in the competitive events. The first e main event is all malakam. It includes all your basic movements, holds, grips. Every fundamentals of malakam are covered in this. Rope is entirely different from that. Rope is like moving and you have to balance yourself. It also includes intricate knots. We have to twist our body on the rope in such a way that we do not get stuck but still maintain our grip. Wow. Is, uh, continuously moving, evolving. So it includes a lot of coordination and effort. It needs to have a counter motion so that you are balanced on top of the wow. other. So that's nice core work, motion bro. of the Malkam is controlled, Legit. your own balance core is strength. controlled. Wow. And then you, you can perform a different... It's like Epic Mulan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow, he's white. Jumping into my first Malakam training session was fun, challenging, but probably one of the hardest things I've ever attempted. Ow, I only lasted about ow, five ow, minutes ow, ow, completely ow. tiring. After many of the athletes offered up their help coaching, a lot. I realized something oh, important. All the athletes practice together regardless of their age. And there's an underlying cultural reason for this. Dang. Indian culture, age is not a factor. 
I learn from my student. I not give anything yeah, yeah. to him. He it. has that ability. Yeah. Just I molded the ability. And I learned from him. This is our Indian culture. Guru, then Shishya. Then Shishya will become a Guru. Then Guru is Shishya. They keep Here, the same culture they are following. Wow. Children in India start Malakam from a very early age. The daily training routines develop yeah. discipline and concentration that will benefit them as they grow older. I like older. to see you do that. Whether they're a boy or a I girl, say about Malakam is a great that. way of molding these kids into physically and mentally capable young adults. Malakam basically helps you develop flexibility, strength, stamina, right from a very young age. If you start it from Balance. at a later age, say like uh, 15, 16, it is a bit difficult as the body starts becoming rigid. As we grow up, yeah. the muscles start tightening, the yes. bones start getting hard. So flexibility becomes a bit of an issue. So starting at an early age gives us a very good advantage. It's huge on balance. So more girls need to do Malcolm because it gives you a different level of confidence. So when they see Malcolm first, uh, they think no, they become very reluctant. Like, you know, I don't, I don't think I can do that. But at the end of the session, when they actually climb up, when they do the entire routine, <laughs> they feel so much confident, there's a smile on their face. So that fear gets automatically turned into the confidence. Psychologically, they start she thinking, okay, I don't think anything is difficult for so me. So impressive. <laughs> Malakam is all about creating access to the masses. A single oh. ball allows dozens of children to practice and train, and all of the coaches I spoke with teach their students for free. That's how they were coached, so now they're paying it forward to the next generation. Not only does this mean that the sport of Malakam will continue to excel, but it also builds, strengthens, and supports the local community. The community, yeah, what a great community. That was awesome. I hope they did it justice for those of you who know about this, because I know, you know, we're. Uh, we don't know a thing about this, but uh, man, that's really cool. That was awesome. And I know the, cause I, uh, in this year's America's Got Talent, there was a guy performing this, this year. Oh really? Same with the, the same year. The, with that, the, the Unbeatables, Unbeatables was in. Uh, cause I kept getting requests for it. Uh, to and it was specifically it? Malakam. Yeah, I believe it was okay. specifically, it was this guy. Uh, so if that's worth reacting to, you can let us know. But I know he went pretty far and people were, it was really impressive whatever mm. performance he put on. And um, I'm, I know I've seen either exact replication or some duplication in some Cirque du Soleil choreographies. Yeah. Especially the rope aspect of it. Yeah, the rope Which aspect. is not unique to just Malakam. There's other dis disciplines of gymnastics that incorporate that in some way, shape, or form. But I think, it, I'm hoping, Probably start knowing Cirque du Soleil, they're, they're known for incorporating everything in the around the world that they can find. Yeah. Unique, different, beautiful things. This has got, this is just really cool. And even they didn't, I didn't hear him mention it, but I said it a couple times. Balance, one of the things that happens to a lot of people when they get older is they, they not only stop taking care of themselves physically and just accept age, they don't recognize the fact, like people lose their balance. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons they lose their balance when they get older is because they've stopped exercising the mechanisms in their body that handle balance. Mm -hmm. Like one of my things I do, on, I, every two or three years I'll go back over to the park that has uh, the Olympic rings and I will specifically use Olympic rings as I'll turn myself upside down and do pull-ups upside down because it'll work the muscles in a different way, but it also gets my equilibrium used to what it feels like to be upside down. I'll even run at the rings, jump at them, and swing and turn myself upside down so that I feel myself swinging upside down mm -hmm. because it's the old adage of use it or lose it. And they didn't even mention it, but I guarantee there's a, a thing about balance that helps you with this. The, sh the core strength oh, yeah. is off the charts. Absolutely. It was, oh. It's insane, the, the, the amount of skill this takes and uh, dedication and um, like focus, focus to, to be able to do it and not hurt yourself. Yeah. Well, and I guarantee the training, they get bruised up. Oh yeah, they'll, especially when you start, they'll fall oh, because yeah. they don't catch themselves. Oh, yeah. They caught themselves on their toe a lot, which is <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> on their toe. <laughs> but you know, and that's what I was gonna say. We we should do a 
reenactment of this in some way, you know, we should- Well, I would, I, I, something I've wanted for a long time that I would love this channel to kind of develop into along with reactions and reviews and all that, but I would love, I'm sure you guys have seen like the Try Guys. Yeah. I would love to become like the Try Guys that try Indian stuff. Heck yeah. I would love that. Heck it, yeah. It just take one, <laughs> we don't have the access to a lot of it because like I don't know if there's anybody in LA that teaches this right uh, you know no, it's or has a safe place with a rope and we yeah, can, yeah. so exactly. I, don't, I don't know if there's stuff like that it's just something I would love to do if we were in India that'd be different of course right uh, but we don't live there right um, so it's something that I would I would always love to do but I used to be able to put my both legs behind my head as a kid until teenage years yeah I don't hold on you can still do it hold on don't pop anything hold on None. <laughs> I said don't pop anything. You really should stretch before you do that. Uh, uh, you know, your mom can do the same position. That's not a position. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shape or form. <laughs>